Hi, my cyber babes, or my cyber angels. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. You're my cyber mum, and this is your weekend reading. So you can, uh, you're not having a choice today. So I'm giving you one for Saturday and one for Sunday, and the overall energy with the answers of the angels. So I'm going to start with Capricorn. Capricorn, you've got the rider, and the rider means that you're going to get news this weekend, um, and it could also mean that you might be getting visitors, or a visit, or you might be going out and visit friends or family. Uh, have a good time. So you might be getting to hear news as you've got the birds. Again, news, news, news. And this is the Nine of Hearts, so it's the Nine of Cups. Perhaps there is a wish coming true. And the birds mean that somebody might have flown the coop or left the group. Be careful of gossip, but there will be meetings or conferences, discussions going on with the, these visitors or when you go to visit. You might be going to an early New Year's uh, party or a belated Christmas uh, party. Ooh, nice one. Trust. Trust that everything will be okay, especially if you keep your whereabouts you, uh, and with regards to gossip. This news could be important to you and could be useful, so enjoy the party or the gathering. Then we go on to Capricorn. Uh, sorry, uh, Aquarius, Capricorn we've just had, you've got the star. So you are navigating your way to your goal and all wish coming true. So this week there might be a wish coming true. Um, then you have the fox and the fox means be careful, cross your a bit of sly people and mean people. But it could also mean that somebody's got an eye on you and see how uh, detailed you are. So cross your teeth and dot your eyes. There might be a promotion if you're working over the weekend uh, on the horizon for you. Let's have a look what the answers are saying. Ask your angels for help. Ask your angels to guide you on the right path to be detailed and precise so that you can get that promotion or that goal that you wish. Okay, Pisces, you've got the gamble. Have you bought your New Year's lottery ticket yet? Because you can take that gamble. So go for it. Or if you would like to uh, visit a friend without uh, asking if they're home or if it's convenient, that is also a gamble. It's up to you, but don't go to the casino and go mad. Okay, it's been an expensive month as it is. I'm not telling you what to do, just advising. Now you've also got the sun, Pisces, and the sun means you might be hearing of a birth or giving birth or finding out you're pregnant. You might be going on holiday or you might be moving home. New beginnings. You are in the spotlight. Ah, you might be in the spotlight. The gambling machines might have you in the spotlight so that you can win positive energy. Okay, uh, something has been also illuminated. This could be a question or a situation. So you need more information with regards to what is important is in the uh, spotlight, be it you or something else. Choose a new direction. Perhaps you want to do something new uh, or you might have to Choose an other direction to get to where you want to go and what you want to have. Okay, um, Aries, you've got the fish. That means that you have luck on your side in business or work. And also means that you should know your boundaries and let others know what your boundaries are. You can work well in groups, so you might be working in groups this weekend, uh, Aries, and that will many hands make light work, so luck is on your side. You do have support, okay? Don't let anybody use you. Let them know what your boundaries are. No need to worry. Absolute no need to worry this weekend, my darlings. Then we're going over to Taurus. Taurus, you've got the fox. The fox means watch out for sly, poisonous, conniving people. But it could also mean that somebody has an eye on you and they're watching you, they're evaluating you, 
uh, because there might be a promotion uh, on the horizon for you. If you cross your T's and dot your I's, that means to say if you work precisely and to the deadline. You've got the key in your own hand this weekend as well, Taurus. So you can open the door to positivity and you can close the door on negative people. Don't let them be energy vampires. Don't stop. Don't stop by being you. Don't stop uh, working to detail and precise and to the deadline. If you can't manage it, then ask for help, okay? Now we're going to Gemini. Gemini, you've got the house. Why are you isolating yourself? Uh, I know that the house means protection and that you feel safe there. Um, and um, the, ha the house also guards you, but nobody's going to come and knock on your door, even if the gate is open. People know they are welcome, but you have to go out there and project yourself out there as well because people are not going to keep on coming to you you have to go out there there might be a man that you might be meeting this is the ace of hearts so this man might bring you an offer of love um, or an other offer like a job um, a new beginning you could be starting a job uh, that you love in a vocation that you love or that you're passionate about Ooh, new beginning. This man might give you advice on how to begin or to make this new beginning. There will be a compromise between you and this man, or there might be a compromise that you're working from home part-time and working at part-time at the office like men do. Okay, most men. Then we've got cancer. We've got the tree. Family matters to you. You've... Um, Put your roots down and you feel at home. Um, it also means um, watch out for your health. Perhaps you've been overdoing it working or taking care of others. So take time out and go into the nature and sit quietly or meditate. It is good for you. Don't make mountains out of molehills, cancer. Ah, this is not good for your health. Uh, take your time, like I said. Um, you don't have to climb the mountain, you can walk the path. There will be an opportunity to take time out, believe and arrange um, that it can be done. Don't think that you're insuspensible, because nobody is. Now we're going to Leo. Leo, you're going to have a partnership, be it in love or work. You might form a partnership or get engaged this weekend or even married because you've got the letter with the official seal. So that means a marriage certificate or perhaps an invitation to a wedding. And you might be meeting your partner there. Awesome. A year from now, you can see what has happened within a year. Perhaps a year from now you might be getting married, but you're meeting the person this weekend. We're going to Virgo, Virgo, something is gnawing at you. Perhaps somebody has uh, taken something that doesn't belong to them. It belongs to you. Um, perhaps that is gnawing at you. Perhaps you're too stressed out and too busy because mice work in groups. So ask for a helping hand and start delegating. Okay, then you can meet your deadlines and come out of your head and stop, let, let this gnawing stop. Okay, ask for help where you can. You might meet a woman and she could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarium and she's also very nurturing. She'll give you a helping hand. She's from a distant uh, uh, culture. That could also be the case. Forgiveness is at hand, Virgo. Okay, forgive yourself and all others. Now we're going over to Libra. Libra, you've got the owls. The owls are more in your little street because the owls is an air sign, although it is the seven of uh, pentacles at the bottom. 
I see the owls as the sword's official officiality, like um, wisdom, uh, judicial, municipalities, institutions, officiality, because the owls are wise, so you might be getting official news, that's why I'm, and they uh, fly through the air. So I thought of um, the spade, seven of spades would be more apt for this depiction, but uh, let it be as it is. Seven of Pentacles means what you have sown you shall reap. You might get an official news about something that you've invested in and that you are seeing a return. Perhaps you might get a tax rebate. Who knows? Um, then you have the dog. The dog means a special friend, uh, a, a friend that is trustworthy and loyal. Uh, this, this friend uh, could be a new one coming in or you might discover that this friend that you have is loyal and trustworthy. Luck is on your side. Be assertive. Be assertive. You are assertive if you are seeing now that a, a friend is loyal and trustworthy. Awesome news. Okay, now we're going on to Scorpio. Scorpio, you might meet um, a, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarian, or you might even think about them. This person is honest, this person is direct, and um, that is what swords are. They've got nothing to hide. She's very feminine because she's also wearing the sign of Venus, the sign of love, the sign of femininity. So she's already looking out of the window because she knows what she wants. She's got nothing to hide. She's dead honest. Okay, but she will stand by your side and fight for you through thick and thin because she carries the, the, the sword and uh, she represents justice, wisdom's communication and um, justice, communication and wisdom. You might cut uh, away from this person and leave her in the past. You might have gained knowledge from her. Perhaps this is not you. Perhaps this is a friend. It could also be you, that you are being honest towards somebody and you're, uh, you're cutting away from that person and leaving the past the past, what has happened between you two. So th there might be a loss of a dear friendship, but you've learned, you've gathered the wisdom that is your heart, one of your harvests, because you're harvesting ex life experience and you're harvesting wisdom, okay? Your experiences and your knowledge that you've learned from her. Also, you might be harvesting abundance. That could be a helping hand, love, money, a new job, you name it. Okay, Scorpio, the answer is no. Whatever the question is, the angels are saying no. Um, if um, if you have cut away from somebody this weekend, or perhaps previous because it's lying in the back um, in the past, then is, are they angry? No, they're not angry. They've called off now or whatever. There might be something that you're cutting away because of this friend that you had. And you might be asking, uh, uh, what will you be asking? I'm getting to hear so much. Will I be upset? No. Otherwise you wouldn't cut away. Um, is it clear to her why I'm cutting away? No. Uh, so it's quite a lot of questions that are floating around here, Scorpio. Okay. Um, Listen to your intuition, that's all I can say. Listen to your int uh, intuition and be true to yourself. And uh, Sagittarius, you've got the anchor and you've got a yes. Okay, if you have a question, you have a yes. You feel safe and you're coming home to a safe haven. You have slung your hook, as they say. You've placed your anchor there and you'll stay there because you feel safe. And you can always pick up the anchor and move on.
You've got also a lady, but this lady is a European lady. This could be you, that you're more feminine this weekend, uh, weekend that you're taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, being beautifying yourself, being to the hairdresser, etc., etc. Um, more nurturing, more caring, more loving, more sensual. Or you might be meeting a lady like this, and this is also the Queen of Swords. So that's a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarian that you might be meeting. They will stand by your side and they will cut. If you're in a judicial uh, situation, they will uh, dig up the information, get cut straight through to the core and get clarity and honesty. Then communicate clearly. This person can communicate for you or with you at ease, Sagittarius. Okay. You're both very sharp, you're both creative, you're both communicators. The air sign perhaps a little bit more or different. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, my darlings, and take care and I'll see you hopefully in the life, if not in the next video. Be blessed and have a wonderful weekend. Ciao, ciao.